It's seen better days, and will again. This keep was destroyed during the war with the King of Shadows. It was a dark time for Neverwinter, but we persevered, as you have this day. I have brought you back here under orders, for Lord Nasher has a new task for you. And perhaps our guest can see what it is you'll be fighting for in the coming days. These people you see around you. They are now yours to command as you see fit. You are their captain in Neverwinter's service. Make this keep ready for war. Gather troops to your banner and be prepared to strike when this enemy reveals itself. To help you manage the keep, Lord Nasher has assigned you an officer, Kana, and Master Vidal has been contracted to help you rebuild the keep and the surrounding area. You are the master of this keep now. You have earned it through service and blood. And you have earned my trust, and that of Lord Nasher. This is your land. Defend it, for the sake of your people and the sake of Neverwinter. Look, even now shadows fall upon this plain, yet still its beauty persists. It is not surprising to me that our enemies wish to mar this place with their blades and their war. Know this. The first glimpses of this conflict you have seen are not the first. They are but glimpses of things that travel well into the past and the present. It is all part of a greater war. A war almost as great as the one that split my people on the Sword of Git long ago. And the tragedy is tied to such a blade. These shadows you see. There is a lord who dwells in darkness with them. And he has fought on this plain before against those who have embraced Git's hatred. The Githyanki. This lord and the Githyanki, it is difficult to know the true hatred between them. He attacked them long ago, attempted to cast his shadows upon their fortresses in the plains beyond. The fighting was terrible, fierce, and it was only through the deaths of thousands of Githyanki that this king of shadows was driven back. But no matter how many countless thousands of their people they lost, they were only capable of severing the portal through which he could attack them. And so, the Githyanki were denied a victory and forestalled their war for a time. But know that the Githyanki do not forget their enemies. And though the King of Shadows had been driven back, still they sought a way to reach him, to kill him. And as terrible as knowing the followers of Gith hunt for you, even more dangerous is this Lord, this King of Shadows. Know that I will aid you if I can, but it may already be too late. The King of Shadows was not always tied to darkness, and that is part of the tragedy. His will was once devoted to an ancient empire, to the protection of its people. He was once the light of Ilfarn, empowered with the strength to protect them from their enemies, and he was bound to the natural magics of the plain, the Weave. But as much as a ritual created the guardian that was to be Shadow, there is a ritual that will unmake him. It is a ritual of purification, designed to allow him peace when his days of sacrifice are done and the Empire needs him no longer. If the ritual does exist, it lies within the ruined Ilfarn city of Arvan. It is there you must go to purify yourself and gain the strength for the battle ahead. I have marked the location upon your map.
Know that this path is a dangerous one. Even the people of Ilfarn, as powerful as they were, were unable to defeat the King of Shadows. But know that this ritual of purification and the blade of our enemies are the only chance of success in this. He can already make his presence felt beyond his chains. The advantage is his. If you cannot strike at an enemy, know your battle is already lost. You doubt me, and that is because you do not know me. You need allies, Kalakcha, not more enemies and doubt to divide you. For in dividing the mind, you divide the battlefield and you cut your strength in half. I am a Zerth. And I swear upon the circle of Zerthamon that what I speak to you I know to be true. And know that your life is as precious to me as it is for the followers of Gith to end it. And this king, know that he threatens us all. This title of Kalak Cha, do you know it? You wear that title because the name knows you even if you do not know it yourself. But let me speak my thought plainly without circles of meaning. They call you the shard bearer, this Kalak Cha, because you carry a piece of Gith's blade within you, near the heart, and you have always borne it close to you. It was once said that Gith's blade, once drawn, would never find a scabbard again. And now it is sheathed within you. It sings. And they can hear it as I hear it, whispering all the hate of Gith and the war she sought to bring to the plains. A war that would have ended us all if Zerthamon had not met her blade with his at the pronouncement of two skies. Know that you are the only one who can reforge Gith's blade and use it once more in a battle. A battle that will free your lands and people from an evil even greater than the evil the Illithid sought to bring upon my people. There is no other. And if the title of Kalak Cha displeases you, then know that you must make another title. And perhaps your name shall be the battle cry by which this ancient enemy, this King of Shadows, will be defeated. I make this pronouncement to you. Greater than the bond of two deaths as one, with a strength that echoes the pronouncement of two skies. I make the pronouncement of three in darkness, two in light. As the two of us shall meet this king in his fortress, it shall become a battle of three. And when it is over, the two of us shall walk in the light and you will taste true freedom, just as Gith and Zerthamon did when they broke the will of the Illithid at Sagrasa's end. It is my life I am giving you, Kalakcha, and I ask that you let me share your path with you. Then we shall speak no more of it, now that my vow is spoken. Now we must travel to the ruins of the culture of Ilfarn, and there undergo the rituals you will need to arm your spirit against the King of Shadows. I have marked the location of the city on your map. There we shall find what we seek and complete the ritual of purification. Is there something you need? The mare is no longer all it touches and without life. Without the such things are perhaps only by reaching beyond the land. What did you wish to know? It is not. If there is something else you wish to ask, then I was the one who said. And yes, I summon nature to aid. It is not where you walk, so do they. You are either a threat or prey to them, and I must discover which. These creatures that hound you are responsible for other crimes. Much rides on this, both.
Officer Kana, reporting for duty, Captain. Lord Nasher has given you a great honor. But rebuilding these grounds will be a considerable undertaking. And one I look forward to. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Captain. I am Master Vidal. I won't lie to you. Mm, this keep is in a sad state of repair. We will need all the resources you can bring to bear to fix her up. With the help of my crew, we can turn this place into a true masterpiece of engineering. Master Vidal is excellent at his craft and capable of what he claims, if somewhat eccentric. I went ahead and inspected the grounds. There is much work that needs to be done. The courtyard itself is in a shambles, but that can be fixed quickly. Strong backs and long hours and you'll see the shape of the keep. And, well, what's underneath won't be pretty, but before long we'll have the keep cleared out for you. We're embarking on a true adventure. Men, set the camp over there. I'll draw up plans for the work. There are preparations I must make. Come speak to me within the keep when you would like an update, Captain. It is an honor to serve, Captain. You have been rewarded greatly with this stronghold. Long have I waited for my blade to be in the service of someone worthy. My waiting is over. You are too modest. We are the ship, and you are the wind that moves us. There is much yet that needs to be done. Rebuilding the keep itself, Master Vidal can handle. But training the Grey Cloaks to defend its battlements is very important. Training a few men can be done quickly with the right teachers. But Sir Naval has promised half a hundred men for you shortly. And if the keep grows, so will your retinue and your command. So, we must start with the basics and turn these farmers and shepherds into fighting men. There are a few families of farmers that will want protection from the local keep as they had in years past. This section of the high road has also been plagued with bandits since Crossroad Keep fell to the King of Shadows long ago. We have been given the right to tie the merchant trains that come through, but until the road is made safe, any tithe collectors will find the road empty. Merchants prefer safer, longer roads, especially if they make more profit. But all of this relies on training your gray cloaks into capable soldiers. I will carry out your orders when you are away. Once the men are trained, there are more things they can do. As our numbers swell here, I could use more able sergeants to oversee the men. I can train and assign tasks to sergeants if you find some for me. The decisions you make here may have a large impact on the cloaks and the people on your land. After some time, I'm certain Lord Nasher will have direct orders for your men. But until then, they are yours to command. Great! What's wrong now? Why? Like you care? If I did my pr I can handle myself. No. 
Let me go green. One thing. I had a favor, really. I keep hearing about this tome of Ilkazar. And if I recall correctly, it has a few fascinating chapters on Gollumcraft. Well, if we were to get a hold of it, we might be able to use it to help upgrade the construct. I mean, he's walking around and healthy as Gollums go. But I only know so much about Gollums. There may be something I missed that could help him that would be in the tome. That's what I say. So glad you agreed. I was worried this was one of those times when I had a bad idea. Of course. Ask away. Always ready with Oh, really? Let me see what I can do with this. There we go. Needs a little more, I think, but it's well on its way. Of course. Ask away. Why? I play. I suppose you'd say I stick my hand.
Captain, there's a sheriff from a nearby village that wants your help. Well met to you, Captain. I'm the Sheriff of Leaves. We're a small village just south of your patrols. Our patrols have made some of the bandits go elsewhere, in search of easier pickings. Which sends them right to Leaves, I'm afraid. The bandits have raided our village twice, first time just to steal our pigs, but we're thinking it's going to get worse. So Leaves wants us to send regular patrols their way to stop them. Your Lady Kana has the straight of it. It's a lot to ask, I know, but we're desperate. If we send men over there, those are men we won't have for our own patrols and duty. It could set us back on our own front. The decision is yours. Thank you, Captain. One of your patrols should be able to really make a difference. A full patrol? Captain, that could set us back on our front. I hope you've made the right call.
Back again? Hmm. It might be time for me to find something a little more challenging. These orcs were tough, but, well, I think I'm due for a change of scenery. Maybe there's a nobleman in Neverwinter who needs an extra blade by their side. Hmm. 
Well, judging from what you've done out here, I'll wager you definitely have interesting work for me. All right, I'm in. You just got yourself a sergeant. I'll be here for a while longer, but I will join you at Crossroad Keep soon enough. There's a matter that requires your attention, Captain. There's a group of people here to see you. It is a pleasure to meet you. You've made a bit of a name for yourself, and me and my band were hoping to impose upon you. You see, we want to follow in your footsteps and become adventurers. So we've pooled our resources to equip ourselves. And now all we need is a mission that will get us gold and riches. Now it's not just about that, Dayrid. It's also about making the realms a safer place. Too much mischief afoot these days, if you ask me. Right you are, Brother Maxwell. So, do you have any work for us? Turning them loose sounds like a bad idea to me. Even when we first set out, we had more sense in our toes than this lot has between them. Near Port Last, we've heard rumors that the Luskins are plotting something. If I had any spare men, I'd send them to investigate. You hear that? Now that's an adventure. Let's take the high road then. It's just a rumor. It could be nothing. Wait! M make sure you have enough rations for the journey, and don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. I fear we've set those poor fools on a dangerous course.
Looks like it didn't take you long to make new friends. It's been quiet since the attack. Everyone's just working to fix all of the damage done, and Georg has the militia training even harder now. He's pretty upset about the number of harbormen we lost, and wants to make sure we're better prepared if there's a next time. No attacks. I guess sending you away with the shard really made a difference. So, um, maybe you shouldn't stay too long. No offense, but if that shard is what caused all the trouble, you really should keep it away from here. I'm sure it's an exciting life, but my duty is here. Not that what you're doing isn't important. It's just, it's been quiet since he's pretty upset about the number of harbormen we lost, and wants to make sure we're better prepared if there's a next time. Ah, I heard you came back, yes? I'm afraid you probably are here for some sort of reason, I imagine. I've investigated, and in the short time since you've left, there haven't been any remarkable breakthroughs. There may never be any. Interesting. I was unaware of this. Dagon leaves me to my business, and I leave him to his. But my research must come first. So, you made the trip safely. Seen more of the world, eh? <laughs> Don't suppose you've run into that swamp elf? It's as tall as a house, I'm telling you! We've been having some problems with lizardlings. No attacks yet, but they've been seen in greater numbers. A lot of them coming from those ruins outside of town. Bevel gave us a bit of a scare as well. Went missing right after you left for a day or three. Came up in bad shape. But Brother Mering mended him, and now he's fine. You've seen the world. Probably could tell better stories than I. But I doubt they'd have my flair. Looks like it didn't take you long to make new friends. I'm sure it's an not that what you're it's been quite he's pretty upset about the number of harbormen.
lei mi vuol creni. Some way I can help?
lei bevo creni. 